I've got some mailbag stuff here. Let's see what I've actually got this time. You might be interested in this. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Alright, let's open this up and see what's in it. Wherever you open it up is. This ram knife is getting blunt, I think. Oh, this is really bad. I've had this recently as well. I had some other tape, same as this, look the same. And it was really hard to cut. Anyway. Frank Lee, overseas department manager. All right. What the hell is this? So we have a SMB is it? It's an SMA. It's an SMA to N connector. Get it closer. Okay, with a probably what's that one meter extension? Yep, it's an extension, one meter SMA. Okay. It's a foresight FST one hundred X. 9 kilohertz to 6 gigahertz EMC EMI probe. <clears throat> Certainly go all out with the packaging at least. So these are just some needful probes basically, so got different uh, sizes. The size also, I think, affects the frequency as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, I'm not exactly an expert on it. But these all, um, they've got SMAs on the bottom of them. So the uh, the cable just goes onto that. Then hook it up to the front end or something. And you can do probe testing. I mean, Dave Jones has done videos on this on the EV blog. You may have seen them, I think some other people have done videos on them as well. It's got a foam inside there on the bottom. No foam on the top there. Interesting. So well, I'll play around with those later on. This might actually be handy or something I've been working on actually. Non-contact probing, we'll see how that goes. It may or may not work. I can squeeze this cable in there too, that'd be quite nice. <coughs> Keepers are set. There's no information there, there's no like um, instruction sheet or anything like that for some for some reason. So I thought there'd been like a little sheet in there with information about the unit, but there isn't. Right. Just what's on the top there, which I'll show you in more detail. And it's got a QR code, so maybe you can scan it with your phone. You know, get closer so you can do it. There you go. We'll play with that later. Right, let's see what's in this one. Oh, this RAM knife has really let me down. Oh, this is disappointing. That's not even inside the bag. It's in there somewhere. What do we have here? Just like some little clips, clip on leads, probing. We've got these little grabbers, tiny little micro ones, which are really good for getting on to small leads, and some adapter cables, yeah, which in theory will go on to the um, ultimate leads. Let's get some ultimate leads. I've got some here somewhere, I'm sure I've got some. So here's an ultimate lead. Oh, it's got the bloody long tip on that one. We'll see if that one works. It does. Even that long tip one still works. So you can adapt your multimeter leads to these little grabbers. Really handy little thing to have. Um, I might get some more of those. Actually, you know, they look quite good. They look quite nice. So I might get another set. These are silicon cables as well. They feel like silicon. 
Yeah, this is a nice set. I, I quite like these. These are good. So I'll, I'll get some more of these because I'm sure I'm going to need another set. So it's got these little Dupont connectors on the end there. Yep, look nice. So you just get the connector, you shove it into the side of this, like that, to hook it up. And because of the fact you've got two ports on them, you can actually hook up multiple connectors if you need to. So you can probably grab another set of these leads and and um, hook on, or even logic analyzers and like that, even if you're using that. So yeah, they're nice. Links down below for those. Yeah, down there somewhere. Right, let's see what's in here. It's always even Banggood. Make sure you check out the Banggood links below. Also, on that, if you ever go to the Banggood site and buy stuff, make sure you use my link to get there. Right, so that way, if you bookmark my link, which is down in the description down below, any one of them that goes to Banggood, um, it tracks you and it means that I get allocated the commission for anything you purchase for the site. But if you just go straight to the site after that, at another time, I don't get any commission. So if you make sure that you always use one of my links, if you can bookmark my link, make that the link you use to go to Banggood, that'd be great, because that'll increase my commissions. Because that helps me to buy things for the site and uh, and keep the YouTube going. So, this is a probe. Doesn't say which one it is, but it's a probe. <laughs> Now this is because of the episode I had the other day with the 500 megahertz pros which you would have maybe seen the video on. Which weren't really that great. They were okay, they worked, they did the 500 megahertz, but um, they weren't quite 3dB flat. They were about 3.6 or something and they had a dead spot around, was it 140 megahertz? It, it dipped and then came, well, it dipped and then came back up again, trying to get a shot on the camera. Was this a this is also a 500 megahertz Pro. Right, so this is an alternative one which I picked up. Um, also, it's got the same item code, so we'll see. But this is switchable. The other one I got before wasn't switchable. This is one in 10 times. So, I mean, the other pros did work, but they, they weren't quite in spec. But apparently, there might be an adjuster underneath a sticker which means you can adjust them after looking into that. So this has got the little accessory pack. Unfortunately there's no BNC adapter, which is what I, I always like to get with probes if I can. But unfortunately it wasn't a version of this probe with a BNC adapter. But usually you can sort of stick this in, into the BNC, but I probably do have an adapter from a, the Siglent set maybe. Or maybe the Keysight set which will fit on this, so we'll see how the sizes go. So it says 600 volts peak. Yeah, well, we'll see what this says. This is exactly the same instruction as the other unit. So it looks like the same manufacturer as the, as the ones I've got before, but this is a different version. It all looks exactly the same. Let's see what's in here. Well, it's kind of obvious, really. It's kind of keyboard shaped, so I think it's going to be a keyboard. My RAM is getting really blunt. So I have two keyboards in there. These are MacBook keyboards. I thought I'd better stock up on them because there's a thing recently, well, the things are going to be coming up soon with importing stuff into New Zealand from uh, AliExpress that may not sell to New Zealand anymore because of issues with having to pay duty on low value items. And AliExpress apparently threatened to stop selling to New Zealand because of that. So if you're in New Zealand, watch out for that. If you need to buy anything, get it now. Because that's later in the year that it kicks in. So these are, I think these are 17 inch keyboards based on the length of that little flexus there for the power button. So yeah. So I bought some 15s, 17s, and I think I thought I think I might have bought some 13s as well. So um, yeah. Let's fold it over, keep it flipping around. Not that exciting, but yeah, check the links down below anyway. Please make the express. 
Only thing from AliExpress, although I don't know, I, I really actually have affiliate links with AliExpress, they never seem to quite work. I never seem to get them working right. So I actually don't make any money from AliExpress, which is a bit annoying because I buy a lot of stuff from there. The only stuff I make money from is from Banggood. So if you want to buy stuff, go to Banggood first, use my link down below. <laughs> right. So thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon. Otherwise you won't get notifications about my new videos when they come out. That's very important. Make sure you click the bell. And share the video too because that helps the channel to grow. Catch you later. There's a keyboard in there too. Ian, you, would, you probably didn't see this, Ian. Um, I'll quickly show you. Oh, I'm still recording.